it's it's something different. I've always been interested in fish, so um, I like fishing and doing things like that. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to learn about um, how fish grow and stuff like that. And then uh, we got tied on with all the uh, the horticulture side of it, you know, plants and uh, everything from grapes to tomatoes and the hydroponic system, and it, it really became something of interest that I have. We started the whole hydroponics thing. Uh, it was actually the, the district plumber, Mike Liebeck. I said, hey, can we build something that uh, we can grow, use the fish as the waste and use plants to use it as fertilizer? He said, yes. So we kind of drew it up on a napkin and built it. It, it, it's, it ties into it is, I, I don't care if it doesn't work, because then we gotta figure out why it doesn't work. So then it's kind of all right, it's a science-based, hands-on kind of research more than anything else. For example, we have to, he actually has us designing an um, aquaponics system right now and a hydroponic system. So we have to, you know, take all the specs from that and uh, have to figure out all our measurements and things and figure out the physics part of the water uh, getting through all the pipes and um, filtering everything so yeah it's definitely a different kind of problem solving task the first thing was uh, the hole started to plug up all right which I never really thought of uh, and all right so why are they plugging up why is this tank cleaner than this tank well all right I think I know why but then they have to figure out why it is and then we got to correct it so that's why we came up with um, we need a settling tank for each side to, so we're taking clean water that has nutrients in it instead of using some of the sediment that's in there and that's what's causing the holes to plug up. Uh, well, it's a trial and error, I guess. You know, there's a lot of things that we don't know how things are going to come out. So it's, it's trial and then if it works, don't break or don't fix it. And if it doesn't work, fix it. These are three different rooting hormones. They're organic. So he, we have three, uh, I think we're going to do about 300 vines. So we dip them, put them in here, and then we'll have a chart that'll measure growth. Um, and that's on the kids, bud stage and all that. And the whole premise is to find out if these organic are better than what's on the market already. Getting out of the classroom part of it, I think it, you know, it gets so caught up in mathematics, language arts types of classes that it's nice to actually, you know, do something more hands-on, something more fun. I just, we're, we're not answering questions out of the book. We try to make everything practical, um, more hands-on learning. So I guess that's the main thing. And they got to do it. It's not always the easiest either, because there's, you got to clean the filters, got to clean, I mean, it's just, you got to do it all. <laughs> yeah, it's not all fun and games, but you know, after you start, um, you know, reaping the harvest of some of the things, you know, now we're starting to smoke some of the fish and stuff like that you know and it, it there's fun after the work and as soon as we can get outside we have a pond a uh, koi pond that they got to finish off we dug the hole last spring um, it's all lined so now we got to put it together and we put the fish back in it uh, the vineyards this class will be working with the vineyard and hopefully an orchard we're going to start um, so once that's all in place then it's just a matter of making it more productive so then we have something all the time. It's something that I am interested in and uh, it would be fun to carry on throughout my life.